Hello beautiful souls. Namaste, Namaskar. Welcome to Chips and Moon. In today's reading, we will be looking into what the unicorns have for you. The guidance coming in from the spiritual realm, from the cosmos, in the face of mystical unicorns. All right, so see which card are you feeling drawn towards. This is number one, number two, and number three. If you're into crystals, so the first one with number one, card number one, we have Larimar. With number two, we have the Citron. We have selenite for number three. So take your time, pause the video if you want, and you'll find the timestamps in the description box as well as the comment section. Once again, card number one with Latimar, card number two with Citrin, and card number three with Selenite. So use your intuition and let's hop on to your reading. I see you soon. Hello, number one. For those who were drawn to the Larimar crystal or this card over here, so your message from the unicorn starting with the one you were drawn towards we have number nine with flight let your creative imagination fly it's time to dream bigger and to feel the freedom to know that or even to feel reassured that you can take your life in any direction and a creative resolution is very close just Seek within, your soul already knows the answers that you are looking for. That also came through and this is bringing in movement also, traveling, moving to another city, relocation also coming through. So all of that is in the mix over here. I want to see a little bit of tarot for you to see whether or not this is a reading for you, for getting a gist of current energies and anything else and then quickly follow up with the two oracle unicorn oracle cards deck that i have all right spirit for number one nine is also the number of rebirth of the true self rising and triple nine the angels say you are exactly where you're meant to be things are exactly the way they're supposed to be if there is a transformation which is coming in the form of an ending embrace it don't resist it all right so we have the queen of swords coming in and the queen of swords air signs are libra aquarius gemini she is someone who is very independent career oriented um, has gone through certain ups and downs but has attained a lot of maturity she is a telepath and like she can tap into other people's energies emotions without them talking about it she is an empath also but she is quite guarded because she values what her intellect shows her guides her towards boss babe energy very clear in the communication no qualms in speaking the truth we have the strength card coming in for some reason it's feel felt like a chariot also but yeah i can see why 
it's the strength card. I just had to look at it. Strength is Leo Meja Kana. It coming into verse is talk, talking about certain kind of nervousness someone may be feeling. Um, if addictions or any kind of habit which is becoming codependent, you may be becoming codependent upon. We need to understand that. And let's not displace anger anymore is something which is coming through. Inner calm is required right now. Especially if you feel you're getting tested, you need to keep your composure or at least uh, approach the situation softly. That's what's coming through. We have the four of swords coming in reverse, which talks about the rest period coming to an end. Even if your strength got depleted or health got affected due to uh, seasons change and all of that there's recovery coming through improving health coming in for you and we have the knight of wands coming in this is really nice and it's reflecting over here something that something good which is occurring in your life you may be undermining it by thinking it's too good to be true while that element of truth is there, but I feel it's a good thing. The apprehensions, fearing, um, being vulnerable, that is important. Like to feel comfortable in being vulnerable because the Queen of Swords also from time to time, because she has been safeguarding herself, she becomes a little aloof from the world. Uh, in the realms of the heart also because we may be protecting our heart too vigilantly. That is coming through. Apart from that, I also feel the lighthearted energy, the energy of wanting to explore different things. With the Knight of Wands coming in, this is saying also uh, the time to take action is now. The period of rest is over. The period of contemplation, taking a step back, retreating, analyzing is over. While it may be ongoing, but now is the time that we start taking certain actions, inspired actions, rather than getting scared of the outcome. You'll never know till the time you don't try it. So that's the cue coming in from the universe. This is also the Knight of Wands is also could be for some who are looking out, there could be a very zesty lover coming your way. It may be very unexpected. They may be a little immature or just the playful side, the youthful spirit which they have will be drawn to you. The stability you bring in. There's a lot of excitement, new opportunities opening up for you which I can really strongly feel. Let's keep them here. And continue with the oracles. So if you've been feeling stuck, I feel traveling around, meeting new people, networking, trying something different, which is out of your comfort zone, will be really nice for you. A nice change in the scenario will also do you good. Exploring. During this time, I also feel, couple of weeks, I feel that it will be very nice to expand your knowledge. Maybe talking to people from different culture, different backgrounds, different um, upbringing, um, different philosophies and all of that which is coming through. It will be very insightful. I feel that student in you, um, the curiosity about life, that is all getting a rebirth of sorts. So we have number 40 with Stargate of Lyra. Expand your casual chakra. Enter the king, unicorn kingdom. So this is like an initiation which is occurring. An invitation to walk the temple path. To reconnect to your spiritual realm. And also to activate your heart chakra. Your solar plexus your solar plexus chakra and also your crown chakra and the chakra above the crown chakra which connects with the cosmos 
you i also feel with four and zero there is this inner stability which is giving you the freedom to try different things starting new cycles for you which are good for you and feeling free at at peace at ease with yourself and excited to go forward that's the energy which i'm feeling over here your heart space your heart is opening up we have two number 28 with someone could be 28 uh april could be of relevance um significance september with the 9 11th november could be of relevance 28 second of august or 8th of feb could be of relevance we have the full moon also coming in and on the 7th which is tomorrow 7th and 8th we have a full moon in virgo which is very powerful for changing your life around in a significant way all right so this says pool of christ light open your heart spread unconditional love and feel at ease to receive it too so beautiful nudges of like your yeah, events even people or a different way of connecting with your own self nudging your heart to open up <clears throat> and to receive the universal language of love which is unconditional love and love is just not romantic it's so expansive there's so many forms of it enjoy and embrace it enhance it in your life we have anger and we were talking about displacement of anger so sometimes we act with anger behind the anger and we need to go to the crux of it rather than spilling it out through mood swings so this says anger safely express your anger use anger as a positive force honor all of your emotions as sacred sometimes we don't have to judge or suppress or get scared and push away or be in denial of what we are truly feeling this is also a cue coming from the universe to actually sit with yourself and listen to what your heart really wants you may be too much in your mind and not paying attention to what your heart has been trying to say to you all right the black beauty also coming in it also gives me the energy of the black sheep in the family doesn't have to be but you have to understand one more thing <clears throat> as we ascend and all of that we have to work through our shadows also there's certain kind of shadow work which will be very beneficial for you whenever you are comfortable doing it whenever you become aware of it do that element it will be very cathartic for you and we need to embrace it also there are parts of you which needs to be embraced for this full version authentic true version of you to take flight and we have intention be clear and decisive focus on what you really want be bold with your requests to the universe how beautiful is this set clear intentions now and get your plans rolling they have been stalled for some time you needed the pause space the ease for some time to recuperate but now is the time to implement what you have been thinking about for those plans to start rolling for your heart to actually open up and to receive the true kind of love that you truly deserve from your loved ones from your partner and everyone around it's time to be bold now and not to cave in or succumb to fear anymore that's what's coming through for you i hope this was insightful and that i see you in the next video or soon <laughs> all right so until next time om namah shivaya keep that vibe hi my lovely moon
11 number 2 for those who were drawn to the citron and this card so let's begin with the message the first card that you were drawn towards and then we'll go into a little bit of tarot and then follow up with the two unicorn oracle cards deck that i have so the first one which you were drawn towards is wow number 10 with freedom let the unicorns set you free it's time to take back control of your life you're free to go in any direction that you want and with an ending also comes the freedom to choose what you really want and with 10 it's talking about certain kind of triumph also through a completed project which we are rejoicing in so freeing up some time after a hefty project has been taken care of successfully panned out successfully um become aware of the confinements even internal self-limiting thoughts which have been clouding your judgment it, and it's also now time to let go of any pressure outside pressure that you may be feeling or even the internal one and free yourself a little from the stress and the over worrying that has been going on you are free to choose whatever you want free will is all it takes all right so let's look into the tarot for a bit of an insight and any guidance that the cosmos have for you thank you we have the four of wands coming in the bee and the kid with the lollipop garden <laughs> all right so the four of wands talks about in some cases it's also the 11 11 card so the twin flame card talks about marriage also but predominantly it talks about personal life bliss things working out um taking the leap of faith advancement and also spending quality time with loved ones the family front which is harmonizing now and these two almost give me the energy of someone who knows they want to settle down but they're kind of running away from the idea like let me just give myself another year let's see that kind of vibe which is coming through all right and we have the three of wands coming in reverse over here someone who is feeling whether or not they are meant for relationships and the answer is yes but the self-doubt <laughs> is not really helping <laughs> just a second let me just check which one is this because right now i can't think of the numbers along with the major major arcanas with number 19 we have We have the sun card coming in, which talks about all good things are coming to you now. Open your hands to receive them. Sweet happiness is yours for the taking. And the page of wands is over, of pentacles is over here. Life is teaching you something. And also for some giving you offering you a chance to renew something in your life a renewed belief in self understanding that you are the student and life is the teacher take baby steps but do take steps towards your own freedom and towards what makes you happy what brings you fulfillment I also feel there could be in front of you an opportunity to pursue, say, an example, pursue a particular romantic relationship, potential person, romantic person that way. And you may be, while you know, they may be the one, the potential is there, but 
past hurts, resentments, things not working out and the fear of history repeating itself is stopping you from your own happiness and to try something with a clean slate, on a clean slate. And while this opportunity, the window is open for you, it won't always remain there. But at the end of it, do what feels right for you. If you feel there's too much miscommunication, discord, or someone who is perpetually trying to misunderstand you due to their own fears or limited thought process or something that they are rigid about, you don't have to keep dancing around them. You are free at any moment to leave something which is no longer fulfilling. Because there's a lot of satisfaction, getting married, all that potential which is getting stalled because you may be hoping for a situation to pan out which is very slowly progressing there. So there's this, determ there's this uh, pause the universe is bringing for you, for you to become clear. Whether or not you have the time and the desire to wait and see how this pans out. If not, there's another opportunity which will be coming in. This could be in terms of um, this could be in terms of job also. So it could be that maybe if your current situation uh, in the sense of a job your job is right now not really fulfilling you start looking out for different avenues go for interviews put in a word but you always have the freedom to try something different all right from the oracles we have number 13 with creative solutions interesting with the squirrel also coming in squirrels also remind you that you need to stop worrying about things and especially worrying about the lack things aren't working out and too agitated and all of that we just need to relax ourselves this says think outside the box view things from a higher perspective because we may be too close to the fire or too close inside the forest when we need to be stepping away from the fire and not get burnt by the intensity of things or even um, pull back be on the hilltop and view the whole forest that's what's important and that will bring in change the, with the blue butterfly metamorphosis is occurring and we have number one your personal unicorn Bathe in pure love. Stay open to unicorn magic. Evidence of magic. Things working out. You're going to get it more and more of those evidence and proof on a day-to-day -day basis. Keep in, uh, this is saying, look into the signs and synchronicities which are occurring. Step into your personal power. The time has come to make a decision independently for your own self, for your higher good. There's a lot of success which will be coming in. This is going to be a very productive time for you. You will be getting pregnant with new ideas. So, jot them down. Learn a new skill. And we have... Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. I love. I am loved. I am loved. So, there could be a new partner entering your life with the Four of Wands. And also, reunion, reconciliation, which is occurring, especially if you are in a divine soul connection. The separation was very much required or even the discord 
or the tussle which occurred the hiccup which occurred was important for your truer selves to come forth for the communication to become more authentic more heart to heart for both to feel comfortable to express themselves even when you may not be agreeing with each other that's also coming through or someone needed to be given to be gifted your absence for them to realize your value that's also coming through taking your power back is a major thing which is required right now you going you got to go for a few weeks a few months you got to go solo in a certain way solo trip if you are mentally comfortable doing so but it's right now instead of thinking about the partner the companion the relationships uh, all of that di dynamics it's more over it's time to step into your own personal power so however you can navigate yourself into coming to this alignment with yourself self governance self resilience and all of that self empowerment do it and we have magic coming in for the second time this says make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you yeah the evidence of miracles you will be getting it every day and it will only get stronger and stronger spiritual beings are around you and you can within your own self like maybe take taking your power by choosing yourself or making a decision which is like you know you out of self respect right and making that decision you start feeling in alignment with yourself once again that uneasiness that just suddenly gets substituted with this inner confidence calm inner knowingness and then more and more of your manifestation power also becoming obvious or more but other things also that you feel you're not alone that there's someone whoever you may want to believe in looking out for you that there's so many blessings coming into your life and maybe there was something which was acting as an obstacle you know like as an obstacle and you had to consciously remove that situation or that obstacle out of your life for the rest of the blessings which have been piling up to start flowing into your life it's almost like things clicking once again you think of something and then you get the answer within two days you get the cue you get the invitation you make up you think of i wish i could travel a little more and then the next weekend you are planning something with your friends or some friends have made a plan and they're calling you in that kind of a thing is also coming through think about something and then you hearing it through media answers through media through music through something you see feel and hear so be observant because the universe is talking to you through many many things and the numbers repeated numbers and all of that 13 13 uh 313 1010 333 1919 444 1 because 13 when you add it together is also a number 4 and 13 to me looks like a profile of a butterfly so transformations which you are initiating will be well received and more blessings and that same positive energy will start flowing into your life more and more not just because you are attracting it and all of that just because you're feeling it within and appreciating and counting the small wins each and every day where you are navigating through the choppy waters and going towards a prosperous life the kind of life that you want to live truly live and you have started experiencing it and not experiencing life in pieces now you're getting ready to open your arms and to experience life wholesomely all of it slowly coming in together 
harmonizing and bringing in more satisfaction in your life. If you feel you are missing a family member, it may be time to reconcile, amend what needs to be amended, forgiveness that needs to be shared and given, not for anyone else, but for your own sake. Forgive yourself also as you prepare yourself for a new phase is what is coming through, my dearest beloved. So I hope this was beneficial for you, insightful too, and that I see you in the next video or at least soon. All right. So until next time, Om Namah Shivai. Keep that vibe. Hi, my lovely moon. Hello, number three, for those who were drawn to the selenite or this card over here. So we'll look into this first, the one which you were drawn towards. Then we'll go a little bit into tarot and then the last two decks will be the unicorn oracle decks that I have. All right. So the one which you were drawn towards, what does it say? Oh, how lovely. We have number 14 with hope. Look with new eyes and create the change that awaits you. Change the way you look at yourself. Change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. <laughs> There's still hope and more joy and more inspiration, assurance, occurrences which enhance your faith in the journey you're on, the path you've chosen, what's to come it's getting re-established in you there's more to look forward to and renewal which is coming in for you and with the four 14 over here when you add it together it's a number five which talks about change transformation transitioning Elevating the pain. And with the one, it talks about an initiative to bring in more groundedness, more stability, more security into your life. And also doing what makes you feel calm within. Intuitively, you know what to do. And this sense of renewed hope is something which is coming in again and again. It's like the silver lining. I'd like to see a little more. So with Tarot, we have Eight of Cups coming in, which does usually talk about moving on, certain kind of separation, leaving a cycle which you have worked on or a connection you have been hoping for to pan out or... Wanting things to progress which didn't and this is talking about choosing another path for yourself, moving forward because the Eight of Cups denotes a period of learning about love, learning about emotions and that the past chapters in love was important for you to value the next chapter which is opening up for you of true love, of pure love, of unconditional love. And it all starts with you. There's still hope. While one door is closing, another one is opening up for you. This could be an initial phase where you've made the change, but the vacuum that it creates is something which is feeling daunting, a little difficult. But you will overcome any sense of hurt that you are feeling. Because there's still hope for you out there. That was very specific, but that's what's coming through. And we have the Ace of Swords coming in. In reverse. And with the Eight of Swords also coming through. In reverse. Illusions which are, we are stepping away from illusions, from fears also, 
we can now see things very clearly maybe there was someone in your life who was being like you know um selling dreams and all of that and the crux of the matter was probably always evident to you it was almost like the elephant of in the room which wasn't spoken of but it came there came a point where you were just you just wanted to do uh, things to be done and dusted to be cleared and to it and it took a lot of courage for you to talk about this bring this topic around i feel the past in the recent past the lesson which you have just uh, oh, like kind of passed the test that you've passed is to not fear knowing the truth not get un uncomfortable and not feel fearful of shaking the boat that even if it is uneasy what the truth is at least you'll have the clear picture of moving forward yeah these like six of wands coming in reverse three of pentacles and the wheel of fortune coming in all in reverse there was too much stuck energy and if you feel stuck right now that things aren't progressing the other person is not making the time to put in the effort and all of that it needs to be spoken about now because the delays need to come to an end there's this conscious blockage stoppage stallment stalemate energy which is coming over here and we need to address this you can walk away silently also if you want that because this is not sufficing you anymore and you know that that's the cue coming from the universe the labyrinth and it's this stagnation is clouding your judgment also there is a certain kind of manipulation which is going on someone who's trying to be on two boats not being able to choose like decide who to choose especially in terms of romantic partnership who wants to bake and eat the cake too and it's becoming too convenient for them because they each time that they try to juggle you with everything else and you your kindness they are not valuing your kindness that's what i feel over here anyways <laughs> step away from this person just saying it's okay it's okay and we have the high effect coming in taurus major arcana coming through you are walking away from a sticky situation and going towards fulfillment stepping into your power and for some it could be also the hardships that you're facing right now is only going to give you more experience that you will be able to talk about as a leader in the future that's also coming through nothing is goes to a waste that's what's being said wow we have <laughs> we have the page of cups and the queen of cups coming in beautiful an offer not being made is actually a blessing in disguise we need to snap out of any sappy energy that we may be feeling and it's okay we can feel what we feel but know that you are now getting ready to heal what was in the past to let it go and look forward no point da dragging things which are lifeless i know how i'm sounding maybe nothing not what you want to hear but this is what's coming through you needed to understand your own value and sometimes tough choices need to be made even if you are say in love or still invested in someone maybe your liking is just like 5% more than the other person but the package that you are some people just aren't used to kindness because their upbringing their life's 
so far has been uh, quite rough where they became the survivor and they couldn't really get out of that mentality anymore. So when a loving person comes into their life, it is hard to believe, hard to swallow. And now is the time to know that all hope is not lost. This is predominantly someone who has, has come to a point of recently chosen to, like in majority, chosen to stop meddling with low vibrational situations, people, or certain unhealthy attributes of your lifestyle, which you have started changing. That is also bringing in a lot of beautiful ripple effect for you. Good positive changes for you. But you do deserve someone who actually loves you and values you and everything that you bring to the table. And people will be able to like, you know, those who value you will also get inspired to bring that to you. If someone can say you deserve this, you deserve so much more. There's always an option, which I always say, always an option to deliver that, get inspired and deliver that themselves or make way. All right, that was really <laughs> quick. We have number 14, stand in your power. Be passionate about your vision. Bring about positive change. You're very close to bringing in a manifestation, a wish which is entering your life, manifesting itself very, very soon. You're very close. Don't give up now. It's also something which is coming through. Hang in there. Energy is coming through in terms of the decisions that you're making. Interesting. We have two cards of about vision. We have number three. Create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. Exactly. Like there's no fear of what life brings. Because you know it will be for the best. Change the way you love yourself and you will change who you attract into your life also. Alright, we have delight coming in. How beautiful with the dandelion. Over here. So much power. And feeling free with ease being like something which it's almost like over contemplating or kind of anticipating how the hurt may feel. If you let go of something that has been very, you've held very dearly to your heart, but it has turned into, say, a virus and it's clouding your judgment and making you feel stuck. And the moment has come to let it go, to release that once and for all, even could be certain kind of past hurt that we may be holding on to. And the moment we let it go, first we let it rise up for us to come face to face with it and then taking the decision of releasing it as we amend the connection with our own self. And then um, once we release it, we realize that, yeah, initially it's aching a little, but I feel this is for the higher good and I have no guilt doing so, choosing for myself. Delight says, count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best coming in with the triple three also change the way like bring in more positivity into your life become aware of the negative thinking also because that also gets manifested and you are a very powerful manifester One more card, please. Thank you. We have expansion. A new dawn which is breaking. You have weathered the storm. The storm is now passing. And there's light and rainbows coming in again. Expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. 
no time to hide away anymore but to step into your power and re-enter the world your your potential is limitless don't let the influence or the words of someone discourage you for believing or even inactions or whatever right let it not define who you are or confine who you are there's still hope and it's time to rise and shine darling better opportunities are coming your way and sometimes that deep cleansing is very much important decluttering and detoxing your life is very much essential and the more space we make even not taking too much responsibility of other people's karmic worlds focusing on yourself pouring into your cup that will also make space for love miracle blessings and abundance and good things to enter your life when we start enjoying more of things that make us feel good in our life about ourselves and about life there's renewed hope which is coming in you feeling delighted about the future about what's to come becoming clearer about your own vision and the way that you see yourself and the way you connect yourself connect with yourself you have a very special life purpose and the shift was essential for you to listen to you to your calling for your life purpose is grander than you think or you already know and this is a time where your life path is calling you towards something grander and get ready to expand this is jupiter blessing you with good fortune this is also feeling like put yourself out there the world now is the time to show the world your magic the greatness do not allow anyone or anything clip your wings keep you grounded or make you feel less than who you re really are and that's the energy which i felt over here so i gave an example of love romantic partner but it could be somewhere who someone who is becoming a little too condescending a little too critical and that may be affecting you of making you feel a little walking on eggshells we don't need to walk on eggshells anymore all we need to do is just bend down <laughs> let the wind or just blow some air and let the shells move out and then the ground is just clear you need to remember that you are brilliant talented and it is now time to soar into your success your soul is calling you to share your message shine your light and make a difference have the courage to do the things you are scared of stretch out of your comfort zone and into your potential now some people also could be getting a little jealous or even getting a little fearful or anxious about with this expansion and glow up which is occurring for you you may leave them behind so you have to make sure that you don't shrink yourself to appease their fears you need to stay true to your path and continue soaring higher and shining brighter by doing this you will show them how to do the same it, it is, is up, up to you. them to have the courage to follow exactly that's what's coming through i wanted to read the expansion because i could feel it i wasn't able to word it too much so i was like why not just take the guidance guiding book <laughs> the books guidance so that's what's coming through i hope this was beneficial for you and you found this insightful and to see you again soon in the next video or in the future until next time om namah shivaya 
Keep that vibe. Hi, my lovely. Mom.